Hello everybody, it is I, Marina and Amanda Love from www.lovemovement.ca. Today we are in Los Angeles at the Korean Friendship Bell. And as you can hear, there's a ton of wind going on in the background. But the wind is really something that's a messenger and it's carrying the vibration of our message throughout the nation. So today we wanted to speak to everyone about embodying the Divine Feminine. And this is a huge situation, pandemic, in the whole entire world. And actually, Amanda had something happen to her yesterday night that really inspired me to ask her to share it with all of you because it's actually quite amazing what she experienced and what, how this really relates to how we're treating each other and the things that we're doing. So I'll let Amanda tell the story about what happened to her. Hello everyone, Amanda Love here. Uh, no, I don't even know how to start this. Um, just we were in a conference in what do you call it? A, a, an intensive conference all weekend. Um, great speakers, uh, very very powerful women, um, very inspirational women. Uh, one of the one of the speakers, um, Marianne. Williamson. Williamson had uh, had mentioned something about um, this whole uh, women and their divine feminine and being in their divine feminine and all these women gathering together at a women's conference. That's what that's what the point of the conference was was for women. And as I was getting ready to leave, I was grabbing a few things just because I'm about to go back home. And there was these girls, women who were working the event, not not women, just, just any women, there were women who were working the event, and uh, I had overheard them as I was purchasing my, my herbs, um, judging women, uh, judging what they were wearing, um, pointing out how, oh, well, she's a little too big to be wearing that print, she shouldn't be wearing it this way, she should be, she should be wearing that to hide this and that, and these were supposed to be very, uh, conscious enlightened people who yeah. are attending this conference about about you know becoming better in their health as a woman and and just inspiring other women and and having a sisterhood more so than uh than uh like that that saying that you see all over facebook women should empower one another and not not judge one another um so i heard them oh, i overheard them talking to talking to each other they, they had no idea I'm, I'm a sneaky one I can hear people when they don't think I can um, just judging these women so I kind of looked over and I did my Amanda looks that everybody knows so well and uh, and I just had had enough because when they had they were just going too far with it and I looked at them and I was just like I guess you guys didn't hear the part where they were talking about divine feminine did you <laughs> And they shat themselves. <laughs> they did not know what to do. They went white as ghosts, and uh, it was just—it was just kind of ridiculous. It was kind of sad. Like this whole weekend of women inspiring each other, and being around each other, and loving each other. To end it off on that note of, oh my God, do you see those pants she's wearing? She should not be wearing those. Her butt is too big. And it was just—it was really sad. And then when they heard when I said that, the girl felt the need to compliment my cleavage and I just said to her I was like I really hope that when I walk up those stairs you don't turn around and say something bad or say that it was a little too much and I turned my big ass around and I walked up the escalator <laughs> and I'm so proud of Amanda because Amanda and I are going to go for a walk and show you a bit of the scenery where we are but I'm really proud of Amanda because Amanda is someone like me who was bullied very severely and maliciously as a younger girl and not only was she bullied she also was a bully and so Amanda knows what it's like to be on both ends of the spectrum and what ends up happening between women is that we tend to separate ourselves from one another and we think that we need to you know judge another woman on her worth based on what she's wearing the clothes she has on like you know the sunglasses um, the music she's listening to the way she's walking her weight and ladies this has to freaking stop what the hell are you doing to one another? Where is, is that what a beautiful woman does? Because beauty really is in the words that you speak. And if you're not saying beautiful things about each other, then what the hell are you doing? That's all I really have to say. What the hell are you doing? 
You need to honor a real woman who is comfortable and confident in herself, honors other women and says nice things about other women. And this women bashing and hateful things that you are saying about yourself and about other women needs to stop. I hope that this message means something to you. LaRue means out. That's right. Have a good day, guys. <laughs> Los Angeles Friendship Bell, Korean Friendship Bell, two best friends here. Los Angeles. Woo! <laughs> yeah, the lighting's a lot better over here, girl. I wish we, we should have done it over here. We should have done it over here. It's right. But it's all good. It was all meant to be. We thank you. We love you. Come check us out at www.lovemovement.ca. Until next time. Love each other! <laughs>